Dynasty Radio, 1382. Oh, black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment, truly incitement. Black woman is God. Uh, black woman is God. Crown of creation. True manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why they trying to get out of bliss? Black woman is God. Uh, black woman is God. Crown of creation. True manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Truly enlightenment. Black woman is God. Uh, black woman is God. Crown of creation. True manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why they trying to be out of bliss? Black woman is God. Uh, passion in the fashion, the compassion. Imagine seeing them laughing up in the classes, basking in the sun. Do a passion and they run through the meadows, ghetto. Never let go my style. Meaning my style and the culture. Not putting on scraps of crap like vultures. I hold her as an eagle. Flying freely through the skies of eyes of wise guys as she died in evil. Woman's nature is creation. Bringing spiritual to physical manifestation. Man's purpose, revelation. And destruction to the wickedness, not to our own damnation. Black woman is God. True crown of creation. True manifestation of. We know that in every holy book, in every book we read in science, that it was the order and arrangement of the universe that created the cosmic universe that created the superclusters, that created the clusters, that created the galaxies, that created the stars. Mm-hmm. Stars created the planets, and the planets, our third from the sun, created our life. And out of this came black life in a warm and temperate climate, and the ones that organized the entire planet was the feminine principle. As above, so below. Just like the cosmos did it, so did the earth. That, to me, scientifically, is why the black woman is God, because God is the creator. The one thing we know about the cosmic reality is that everything is based on the capacity and the ability to reproduce oneself. That's the most important concept. Okay. Because without the concept of reproduction, then everything goes back to no no thing. In other words, there will be no living entity. So therefore, if reproduction is that, then we have to look at the laboratory of the creator, which is the woman. Now that deals okay. with any culture. But when you okay. look at the original laboratory, where the DNA was first structured, where the life systems were first created, you're dealing with the black life because all things come out of the black, and that's why black is beautiful. Not because it's the color of one's skin, but because everything comes out of the black. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So I'd just like to stop there because I know where I want to go, and then I'd like, my sister, what, uh, what, what you were saying that you would like to do in terms of bringing this forward, and then we can take it from there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. we're all speechless on this phone, but you know what? <laughs> I, re- I really appreciate that because that's really been lining up what we've been talking about this whole time, especially when we have uh, Dr. Natal Tahuti who comes on every other week and, and drop his stuff too. Um, it's, it's really lining up what we've been talking about this whole time. And the reason why we're doing this show, is I'll be honest with you, when, when this idea came for me to do The Black Woman is God, I had no idea it was going to go deep as it's going now because I didn't know the science. I didn't know, you know, I don't, I don't even know why I was saying The Black Woman is God, I guess because I heard it. And now that it has taken on a whole nother, um, uh life force, I would say. So I'm very glad that we're able to bring this to the people. Um, you know, and, and even with this, Doctor, we get a lot of um, uh, backlash, I would say, because the brothers, mm-hmm. they don't want to hear the fact that we're saying the black woman is God. And even when we try to bring the science, we still get this backlash because their main, excuse me, their main argument is that you can't make a baby without the man. That's the mm-hmm. main argument. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. What what do you say to that when we continue to get this argument from the man that, you know, the reason why you're not really God is because you can't make the baby without us. You know, you need the X and the Y chromosomes both to make the baby. Well, you know, 
I mean, scientifically speaking, they, that, that is that that has truth to it. You know, my argument mm-hmm. is because I'm a man. I'm very proud to be a man. I'm very happy yeah. to be a man. Mm-hmm. And I have no problem understanding. But I think that see, we're caught up in the Western mentality. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as long as we are caught up in the Western mentality, you're not going to hear many men come before the community and say, by nature of who I am, I am the culmination of my mother and my father. Therefore, I am half man and half woman. Okay. And I'm very comfortable saying that. And I'm very proud of my feminine principle. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have always found the the deepest embrace for me, the only embrace for me, is with my sister. So I understand and I'm, I'm balanced in what it is that I'm saying as it relates to that the fact that it is very true that it is, well, I mean, they're doing some crazy stuff now with DNA where two women can produce a child, but they can only produce a woman because a woman has two Y chromosomes. So what they're playing around with in the laboratory today, crazy as they are, is taking the Y chromosome from one woman and mating it with a Y chromosome of a female. But I have to tell you, that's not a baby you're producing. Mm. Something else. That's humankind, like a kind of human. But it's not exactly the way in which the forces of the un- of, of the united cosmos brings a child in. So I understand. But you see, brothers are caught up. We 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 as a a male um, gender are caught up in looking at the world from a Urugu's perspective, which is the incomplete one. Right, mm. the Urugu. That is Urugu. That is the Dogon mythology, as Dr. Marimba Ani tells us. That is the incomplete one. That is the nomo that was incomplete because he refused to identify with his feminine uh, uh, partner. Mm -hmm. All things in the cosmic reality come both male and female, and the only thing that is both male and female at the same time is the concept of the creator force. Okay. All right. Okay. So I understand what brothers are saying, but that's not what I'm saying. When I say that the black woman is God, I'm speaking scientifically. Look around you. If you're looking right. for a creator, what man has ever created a child? I mean, yes, it is true that our contribution of our spermatozoa is what is brought into the play that determines that it was going to be the fertilization of the woman's egg. I understand that, but I'm not talking about God in that perspective. Right. I'm speaking from a much larger perspective as it relates to the study of certain documents that I just want to begin with. The first and foremost, Mm -hmm. the Shabaka stone. Okay, let's go. Stone is a rewritten version of a much older document that has come down to us as the Memphite theology. There's no evidence that the Memphite theology exists. In other words, there is no physical document. However, the Shabaka stone is a rewritten version of this Memphite theology said by Pharaoh Shabaka of the 25th dynasty, about 710 B.C., where he says that he came upon this worm-eaten document and found it to be so scientifically appropriate for the times that we're living in. In other words, it was a valuable document back then. He decided to have his scholars rewrite it and update it to what the knowledge they had of the coming into being of the cosmic universe. This is the Shabaka stone. This is a primary source. Now, this is one of the documents that I've studied the most probably throughout my life. I was okay. first introduced to this in 1975. Mm-hmm. George G.M. James's Stolen Legacy, Chapter 8, dealt with the Memphite theology. In this document, it talks about how our ancestors saw the coming into being of the universe. Okay. And within this entire process, you have the feminine principle in place bringing in the ability of reproduction, because that's really what you're dealing with. You're dealing with the ability to reproduce. This is the God force that you're dealing with. And yes, it is true that a man will deposit 
his spermatozoa fertilize the egg, but it is the woman's body that acts as God's laboratory. So that over 10 months or 40 weeks, this child goes through gestation to come forward to life. It is in this process that we're looking at what we astronomically call black holes. Okay. And so that's why the concept was the hidden wisdom of the black hole, ancient science and mathematics deep within the African wombed man's womb. The next primary source to study is the Aten text. The Aten text was written by Akhenaten somewhere towards 1320, 1330 B.C. This is before the Shabaka stone. But remember, it is after the Memphite theology, so this knowledge, this scientific wisdom is being handed, handed down from African dynasty to African dynasty. The right. Aten text is an entire encyclopedia of the power of the light and heat energy of the sun. Mm-hmm. And you see, that's why I often say we are not earthlings, we're starlings. Because okay. you see, the earth was called Geb, which is male, in this text. The sky was called Nut. Mm-hmm. And Nut swallowed the sun at night and gave birth to it the next day. So it talked about the night and day cycle. But if that be true, if life comes through the sky, it means that life came through light and heat energy. So we are not earthlings. We are not of the earth. We are of the sun. Creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Truly excitement. Black woman is God. Uh, black woman is God. Crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why they trying to get out of bliss? Black woman is God. Uh, black woman is God. Crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Truly excitement. Black woman is God. Uh, Black woman is God, crown of creation, true manifestation of my heart's love and enlightenment. Why are they trying to be out of love? Black woman is God. Uh, fashion in the fashion, the compassion. Imagine seeing them laughing up in the past, just asking in the sun. Do a rapping and they run through the meadows, the ghetto. Never let go my style, meaning my style and the culture. Not putting on scraps of crap like vultures. I hold her as an eagle.